Hi there, it's Alison again. Um, just wanted to share with you a project that I've been working on. It's a swap I posted on the, um, the Scrap Beach, and it was for a an auto, well for a junk journal. And the idea was to put together a journal um, with some of the pages had some backgrounds and things, so that the, your partner could then um, go ahead use the backgrounds and then complete it to to the journal you know the page that they wanted it um i sort of hope that it maybe would give people a chance of trying different techniques and things so this is the journal i've made um it's actually made from some corrugated card from from um some packaging and what i've done i've modged podged over the top um a paper napkin which has got all these lovely um, poppies on them. I've then also stamped with um, um, a, a sort of a, a, a script stamp and um, obviously distressed and gold painted the edges. I've added um, a butterfly which I've sort of done various techniques on and a flower and I've also made this charm which um, has got a safety pin with some beads on, a button and a few sort of odd charms that I had from, from a sort of a necklace that uh, I thought would be fun just to, to add. And then inside first page I've made um, a canvas flower using the Tim Holtz Die, tattle florals die and added a, a leaf made a little pocket and that's got a tag which I'll just write a message to my partner in and I've actually stripped back here to show the corrugated card underneath then this is um, a piece of vellum which I've run through the um, embossing folder and um, lightly inked but then obviously that then can be worked even further if my partner decides to. I've got a pocket here which is um, one of the clear CD wallets and inside I've put a few spare um, die cuts of the floral um, and some of the canvas ones so that my partner is also able to have a play with those. Then I've made a sort of a pocket using the on the edge file folder um, into which I've added um, an embossed bingo card, you know, the, the uh, Tim Holtz one, so that's been left there for my partner to have a play with. Um, then I've got some lined card and some um, watercolour paper. This is charcoal paper but I've sort of glimmer misted, uh, when, when I was glimmer misting some um, dyes die cut so I've, I've laid them on there so that then makes a bit of a background to work on. There's a few sheets there of the the paper plain that, so that my partner can use that. And then I've made a pocket here and this has got a little slide off belly band type thing um, and then in here it's made a so there's room for a separate little notebook so there's room for journaling and stuff notes so so that was quite fun and then that sits in, as I say inside that pocket and then on the other side it's just plain as I say some partner can do what she wants on there some more lined cards another file folder just as tracked as a divider a couple of tags another clear envelope with a piece of the um, paper napkin that I used so that my partner can maybe have a bit of a play with that some um, book pages and this is a, a technique that I use for a background I learned from from um, a crafting magazine um, and what it is there's torn off strips of different um, sort of uh, book pages and things like that layered on glued onto some paper and then it's been um, gessoed over the top very finely so that the words still show through and then that's your background and then you can work on top of that with your colour and your embellishments or whatever your stamping and that so I thought well that would be quite a good background for my partner to use 
then some more watercolour paper, more cards. This is a just a fun pocket that I've just learned to make. Um, and this has got a big tag in the top there. Oops, I'm not sliding it in properly because I'm doing it with one hand. And then on the other side there's another pocket there, so there's plenty of fun there. This is another background that I've started, just used um, the Glimmer Mist, I think. Yeah, I think this is just a delphinium, I think this one was. Over some butter butterfly dyes, so I thought that was quite fun. Then I've got a piece here where this has been mod podged, and it, I think this was my sample piece for the cover, but I just put it in anyway because I figured that my partner might be able to find a use for that. This is some card that's been um, embossed, so I thought that might be fun to use. And what I've done with this background, um, I've used this um, sort of, uh, I think it's sequin waste or something I think they call it, but I've used it to, to ink through and or paint through and do some background there, but I've also I thought well I'll include a piece of that and then my partner's got it to use if she hasn't already had some. So she can have a go and have a bit of fun with that as well. Got another pocket here with another of the Tim Holtz um, embossed ones. And this is one I've actually worked on where I um, used a technique I saw on the internet and it's been wax crayoned over and then um, then sprayed over with the mist and it sort of gives a sort of a, a resist effect. So that's fun. Another tag. This is um, another page, a bit like the one with the strips of um, book pages, but this time the book pages have been cut with a die, so they are little flowers on, in the background, so I thought that's a bit of fun. So I've got a, an envelope for bits and pieces to go in there, and then finally just some plain paper, and then obviously the back, the front and back is just sort of decorated but quite plain so well that's my um, my junk journal for my partner who is Timmy and she she's in Ireland so I hope she likes it and um, it's been quite a fun swap so I look forward to seeing what ev everyone else has made thank you for watching and uh, please leave a comment thank you bye